Alrighty guys, welcome back to a long overdue shift stash. I haven't done one of these in donkeys. Um, but I have a good few bits to show you. Now there's a few bits that I already have maybe done a blog post on or already featured in a previous video. So I'll just mention those, uh, refer you to said video or blog post and then we'll move on so we don't take too long um, on them. So I'm going to start off with, let's see, we'll get like the hair and miscellaneous stuff out of the way and say skincare and then we'll move on to the makeup and the good stuff in a few minutes. So the first kind of hair items, actually these are the only hair bits I have to show you. Yeah, yeah. These are from Bumble and Bumble. So I recently did an event in Galway with Smashbox and you will see some Smashbox bit, bits shortly. Um, although I did a full video on Smashbox so I won't be spending much time on them here. But I did get a little care package sent from them and the company or the brand, yeah, the company who owns Smashbox also deals with Bumble and Bumble and they sent me some of their new hair products. So they sent me out the, okay, the BB Full Potential Hair Preserving Conditioner and Shampoo. So it's um, for hair that's fuller, stronger and stays with you longer. And I only just repurchased uh, my other favorite shampoo that I showed in Friday's video, but I'll hold on to this until I finish that and then see how it goes. So, um, cause I know that this one works. So I wanna use the good one, like the one that I know works for me first and then I'll give these a go afterwards. Um, and then I also got the Hair Preserving Preserving Booster Spray. Now I like the sound of this. Helps prevent hair loss for hair that's fuller, stronger and stays with you longer. Actually, now that I'm reading this, I kind of want to try these first. Maybe I will. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but I really like the sound of this. I think these are new products to the brand. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see how it goes. This one you spray onto wet or dry hair from roots to end, ends twice a day. Ooh, that's a bit of a commitment. But yeah, those are those. And I'm kind of a novice when it comes to Bumble and Bumble. I haven't really tried any of their bits before. So those are the first hair bits. Then for something that I got that is absolutely shite <laughs> are these fast, um, t uh, fast teeth whitening stripes. Strips, stripes, strips, strips. Um, so these are the Boots own brand like whitening stripes and I kind of thought that they would be in the same vein as the Crest whitening strips which I just ordered and have arrived at my home house today. I'm so happy. I'm so glad to start using them again because my teeth need a bit of a Oomph. But anyhow, these are the Expert Dental Fast Teeth Whitening Strips. There are tons in here and they cost very little and you can see why. They don't work for shite, as I mentioned. So they're not though like the Crest Whitening Strips in that like I thought they'd be like a sticker that you stick onto your teeth. They kind of are and they aren't. So basically what they are, are, what they are, are, they're these little strips. Do you remember those like, mm, what were they called? They were like the, um, breath freshening strips that you put in your mouth and then they dissolve and they freshen your breath. It's like that, but these don't freshen your breath. So basically these are dissolving strips. You're supposed to wet them or wet your teeth rather and then push them onto your teeth and they will adhere to the wet teeth. And then you fold them all under. The problem there being is that the inside of your mouth is wet as well. So your the inside of your like lips sticks to these as well. So you have your these stuck to your teeth, but then your lips stuck to them and it's really all messy and it starts to get gloopy and it starts to come away and it's just a big old mess. Like I really just, I get them a good go. I get, I like, I tried them for about a week and I didn't see, and now it does say you will see up to five shade changes within two weeks. So like after a full week, I would have expected to see something if you're expected to get five full, um, like five full shades up or down rather after two weeks and I didn't see anything. And to be honest, these were just annoying the crap out of me so much I couldn't stick with them. So those are sadly just not gonna be used. But like they didn't cost too much, but yeah, really didn't like those. I will be putting them actually in my pile of crap products. Okay, so next skincare let's turn they on i was sent these um again these were sent to me from a brand because i was working with shiseido a couple of months ago now and they gave me a few bits um after working with them i've been loving this so these are the um ultra moon serums so the face serum and the eye serum i won't go on about this because i did feature these in my nighttime skincare routine so you can definitely check that out if you're interested in seeing what i do to keep my skin in tip-top condition as much as possible um and these are definitely a new part of my regime and i've been loving them but <laughs> they cost a bomb so like this one here costs 116 euros oh, i'd never spend that on it like i love them but i'm not going to spend that on it and then this one here is like 87 euros or something like that for the eyes 
and it's only 15 mil. Oh. So love them. I mean, if you have the money, fair play to you. Go out and spend it on it. I wouldn't have the money for it, but I, I am loving them. Um, so yeah, they are great. I'm not going to talk too much about them just because they do cost so much and I know most people couldn't afford to get them. Anyhow, let's move on. Um, these I only just got in the post the last day. Now, if I do feature them, it is going to be sponsored, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, I tried these for the first time last night. I showed a picture of myself on Snapchat. Basically, these are, um, okay, I'm gonna have to open to show you. There's only six in them, so I'm gonna be very delicate with them. Uh, will I open this? Yeah, and I'll, I'll probably use them again tonight. These are called the V11, so like seven, I suppose, in Roman numeral, numerals. Um, O2, oh no, don't fall. O2, uh, O2M oxygen eye mask. So basically this isn't just an eye mask. This is an eye mask that you wear all night or you wear for eight hours. So you're supposed to put it on when you go to bed and then take it off in the morning. Now that's assuming you only sleep for eight hours because it says not to wear it for longer than eight hours. So you're gonna have to set your alarm and with these bad boys off, if you do sleep, I'm sure it won't kill you if you do wear them for longer. But anyhow, you pop these on. There is gel. Hmm, this one's hard for some, oh yeah, <laughs> the, <laughs> I was wondering why this was hard, there's a little film there you have to um, pull off, you pull off the film, then these stick, not like that, these stick like this to your eyes, they're actually very, very comfortable, very cooling because of the gel, and it just stays in place, and I was worried that like, because I plant my face in the pillow at night time, I was worried that these would come off or move, and they didn't, now I made the mistake of placing them too close to my actual eye, and they're quite thick because there's a lot of gel on them. So that was uncomfortable and I ended up like in the middle of the night taking them off and I was like, ah, oh, this is annoying. But then I was like, what is wrong? You just put them back on like a little bit further down and then they were perfect. So just don't put them like right up against your, like an idiot like me, right up against your eye because it will be uncomfortable because of the thickness of them. Um, but anyhow, these are supposed to do amazing things to your eyes. And I was skeptical. I have tried like eye masks before, not ones you wear all night. But when I woke up this morning, I could be making this up, but my eyes looked amazing, as in my under eye area, because I have quite dry under eyes and they can look quite dehydrated and like that's where my main fine lines are. I'm like they were actually plumped out, and as in it looked like I had fillers in them. So whatever's in this, it really, really plumps them out. So it contains like peptides and proteins and antioxidants and essential minerals and essential fatty acids and all this kind of stuff. But I have a feeling, and I will talk about this more again. Um, if I love them as much as I think I might, that it's more to do with, you know, when you're wearing something like that, like it's almost like wearing a little sticker on your eyes, your skin doesn't get a chance to move when you're in bed. And there's actually these pads that you can get, God, I'm talking way too much already. But anyhow, when I worked in Screen Face in London, which is a makeup store that supplies like the TV world, um, when I worked there, they, they you have these like sticky pads that you can wear on your eyes and on your forehead and between your eyes and stuff like that. You wear it at night time and it prevents you moving throughout the night so that you don't get the expression lines. It kind of works the same way as Botox. So I have a feeling that's one of the reasons that your skin might look amazing in the morning, along with the ingredients of this. Anyhow, very, very interesting. So again, this is called the uh, V11 or seven in Roman numerals. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, O2M oxygen mask, and it's for all night. Really, really interesting. And Jesus, I've been talking about that forever. Let's move on. Um, okay, more skincare. I already featured two of these in my nighttime skincare routine again, which will be linked below, so I won't go on about them. The Pixie Skin Treats Rose Oil Blend. Actually, no, I think I forgot to um, add this into it, but anyhow, it's a lovely facial oil for nighttime. Really, really enjoying it. I love anything rose, rose hip, anything like that. I just love it. I love it. I just love it. Like, my, I only wear two perfumes. Um, I don't like perfumes in general, but one of the perfumes that I do wear, it's from... Roger and Galay and it's a rose perfume so I love my rose scent and I love this rose facial oil as well as L'Oreal is another one that I'm using and then to be organic but this is I'm just loving my facial oils um, again if you want to see how I use them or when I use them look at the skin nighttime skincare routine video and then this is another thing that's new to me it's um a cleansing balm so a nourishing cleansing balm this is by Pixie and um again I won't talk about it here because I just I go on about it in that video. So um, these are great though for clearing up your skin because oil is the best thing for dissolving oil. And I'm just loving them, really, really good. So those are new to me. This I haven't mentioned before. It's the Glow Glotion hmm, uh, Dayju and it's a brightening lotion. It's essentially the same thing as Max Strobe Cream. So it is a, I like that it comes in a pump though. It is a 
pearlescent lotion yeah and you just it's, it's oh it smells smells lovely it feels lovely it's um it's so like max stroke cream so yeah i've been using this say as a brightening primer basically underneath my more like matte um foundations and that's usually what i do i'll use brightening primers under my matte foundations and then i'll use more mattifying primers under my like really dewy foundations just to help balance things out really really like this um Smells lovely. It smells nicer, much nicer than the Max Stroke Cream. So if you're interested in checking that out, I will link to the Pixie website below. I have a few more Pixie bits to show you in a sec, but I want to move on with the non-makeup things first. So, hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we have brush cleansers. I picked up the Real Techniques Deep Cleansing Gel. I've used it a few times already, and I can already tell you I don't really like it. Um, I just don't like the consistency it's a, just a very thick gel it's hard to lather it up and I find some of it just falls off your hand um, and it's hard to squeeze it out of this thing I don't like the dispenser I think this was like 11 euros when I bought it I think that was on special offer um yeah I can't really say like I'm sure it cleans okay but I just don't like the consistency like the thickness of it and that the formula itself and I don't like the dispenser so I'll give it a little bit more of a go before I make like my definitive um opinion on it or you know form a definitive opinion but so far I'm not loving it um but there you go that's new to te real techniques now this I absolutely adore it is the master's brush cleanser and preserver this is actually a brush cleaner for artists brush I used this back in the day when I was in art college god <laughs> that is going back 14 years when I started art college that is a long time ago so this is what I used to use on my acrylics or my main medium um, this is what I used to use on my acrylics brushes I did dabble a little bit in oil paint and stuff like that and this is actually able to remove the tougher oil paints so you just have to kind of steep it in it a little bit longer basically it's a solid soap kind of like a lot of the other ones out there that you can get for cosmetics. I just love this. It's 16 99 It's more expensive now than what it used to be. And um, it does actually say here, somewhere, where did I read it? That, oh yeah, here it says, the Masters was formulated in conjunction with a cosmetic laboratory to help condition and preserve your brushes with the same care and thought as products that you would use on your hair. Now, let's just pretend that this is getting skin of hair. So I think um, in the past, the actual makers of this because the ingredients are proprietary and the makers of this said that it's not being tested for brushes that are going to be used on skin so they can never they can't recommend it for that or you know they can't definitively say that it's um okay it's fine i've been using this for years and there's no bother and this was actually for sale in at imax um in the u in the us so um i would use this above any other brush cleanser i love it and yeah it does preserve the brushes so it conditions the brushes it cleans them it stops them from um it stops product building up in the ferrule and yeah it says you can restore kind of bathroom brushes as well with it so so good um highly recommend this if you can get your hands on it and then the only other non-makeup product i have to show you is it yes i believe it is this guy and it's actually just the box so let me get the actual product okay so it's this guy it is the duo glue and it is the latex free although for some unknown reason it doesn't actually say latex free anywhere on this on the box on the on the box yeah so this is the new green one and um, it's very obvious it's green and it says it's um made with vitamin a and c dries invisibly i don't love it um i do prefer how latex glue works but this does the job like it's fine it, it'll work for anyone who can't use latex and i'm only going to use it on people who have a known latex allergy or who are a bit unsure um, like you kind of know if you're allergic to latex or not you, you'll have come across you'll have come across latex a lot in your life before you reach makeup wearing age to know whether you're sensitive to it or not some people do develop an allergy to it so this is my emergency stash for anyone who can't take latex but other than that I would be using my normal um, latex anyhow okay let's move on nails so i am wearing this nail varnish here as you can see it's this beautiful burgundy nail varnish and it is from Lancome it's called Rouge Midnight number 425 this was sent to me and you can even see there the gorgeous gold reflect um so it is a burgundy like a i wouldn't say burgundy it's just like a, re a really deep red 
um, nail varnish and it has that gold reflect. So I'm really, really enjoying that. And then you can see here on my ring finger, I have this guy, which is like a gold leaf. Um, what do you call it? Like a top coat, a golden top coat, number 555. And I actually use it by itself. I prefer it on a bare nail rather than over the red. So that's how I use it. And I don't know, can you tell? I'm growing my nails. This is long for me, guys. I know it's short, but it's long for me because I actually want to get gel nails. And I'm not sure if I want to get a fake tip because my nails grow very fast. I just always cut them because I don't like the feeling of long, long nails. Or just... Okay, so my camera clearly wanted me to stop shiting on about nails because it cut me off. Let's move on. The nail varnish is lovely. Uh, yeah, there we go. Um, now, on to the makeup. So we have, start with, yeah, face makeup, I suppose, and I'll group it with what was sent to me. Um, this is a very interesting looking palette. It is the foundation palette designed by Jan Suel for Mac Pro Paris. So, um, Le Maquillage Professionnel. <laughs> butchering that. Um, so Pam, Precious About Makeup, it is like Screen Face or Charles Fox in London. It is a professional makeup store. This would be a professional palette, hence the unusual colouring. So this kind of palette would be for um, olive skin tones or kind of more sallow olive skin tones. And you would mix and match to make up the perfect colour. So for instance, I'm wearing this today. I have this as my main all over colouring. So people um, sometimes don't believe me that when I say I'm yellow based because I'm Fair, so a lot of people just assume it's like neutral or pink. This is the colour I'm wearing. You can see there it matches me perfectly. Um, and then I mixed in some of this which actually looks dark or kind of greyish there but it's quite mm, like a peachy, it's very like peach on almost. Um, and I use that to counteract my under eye circles first of all and then just to dark, not even peachy, it's like a hint of peach, like a pinchy, a pinchy, <laughs> a peachy skin tone and I use that then to just warm up around the outskirts of my face because that is very very fair but um, the way you would kind of use this kind of palette professionally would be mainly what I would do is mix the like mix the shades on a palette to um, get the perfect shade and then to make it a bit more fluid or more like a liquid consistency, mix it in with a face primer and then you can turn it into a um, foundation that way. But this is definitely very, very handy to have for a professional kit. So I'm looking forward to playing around with that and it's always good to have like different levels of shades in it. So Rub it on the right way around. But yeah, don't know the price of that. I will find out and leave it below or else I'll leave the just the link to all these below so you can check those out. Um, the other couple of pro products that were sent out to me, actually speaking of primers, um, Pam as well or Precious About Makeup. Back in the day they used to be called MAP. I still kind of think of them as that. Um, but Pam also sent me out a small, like a sample size of the Makeup Forever um, primer. This is step one. So the primer, Skin Equalizer. So this is the soothing, smoothing, <laughs> smoothing primer. So kind of like the polyfill. Um, it has a teeny bit of a um, tint to it, like a, how do I put it, like a peachy tint, but it doesn't make your skin any particular color. And it just fills it out. It's lovely and smooth. It's very silicone-y. Actually, I'm pretty sure that there's silicone in it. Yes, there's a lot of dimethicone in it and you can kind of feel that from using it. But um, this is the kind of primer that I would use happily on every skin type because it is one of those that ones that just pretty much works for everyone. So it's number two of step one, if that makes sense. So step one means primer and then there's a few different numbers. Um, I think number three was hydrating and number one was something else. So number two is the smoothing primer. Yeah, I've been using this. I used it yesterday when I was down in... Um, Port Leash for my Isadora event and my makeup last lasted perfectly all day so happy with that so far and I have it on again today and then I was also sent this NUD our makeup designery lipstick um, I haven't tried it on yet my mom has and she fell in love with it and so like when, when I looked at it I was like I wouldn't have assumed that was her colour but she loved the consistency of it this is the sheer lipstick um, it's very very moisturising and I think that's why Bridie loved it so much so basically yeah that's, that's it it's a sheer lipstick it's a moisturising lipstick and you can see here it's quite dark and deep looking but it did look gorgeous on her and you can see how sheer it is like it is very very sheer so I think that's why she liked it so much it wasn't very very intense on the lips um it just feels like you've gotten a dollop of Vaseline and popped in a tiny bit of pigment and made this so I can understand why it would feel so lovely on the lips um so yeah 
I will give it a go. I think I will give it to Mam though because she loves it so much. And it's called Eggplant is the actual shade. And it's 15.50 is what you would um, pay for it in pounds. And that's in pounds. So yeah, castor seed oil is its first ingredient, which would explain why it's so lovely in emollient on. Now, those were the bits sent to me from Pam. Let's move on to more pixie products. So I already showed a couple, but um, these are all limited. So first of all, well actually I don't know, yeah this is limited. This is an exclusive um, to the store, so you can't get this online. I've been loving this. I think I showed it in a video recently, didn't I? I used it on Hayley when I did her makeup last week, so I'll link to that video below. I did her makeup, um, yeah it was like a spotlight eye, but I used, it's all the skin products that I used on her, but I ha I've been really enjoying this. It's a really really lovely palette. It's called the Book of Beauty Minimal Makeup palette really um you'll see now when it comes to pixie everything is nude minimal natural she's not into anything crazy and these are absolutely brilliant to have whether it's just for your personal makeup for your kit because these minimal and nude colors are something that everyone would wear and you would get a lot more use out of them than you would oh i'm looking shiny anyhow you would get a lot more use out of them than you would um something crazy so i've been thoroughly enjoying this so definitely if you're interested in this have a look at it in store you'll see it there um, I did do a blog post a good few weeks ago now on my top, actually yeah, on my top Pixie Picks. This was in it. So I'll link to that below so you can check that out. Now this is another one of their holiday items and this is of course limited edition because it's for Christmas. Um, it is the Natural Contour Kit for subtle shading. Um, there are four face shades and six eye shades. And two. So six and two, eight eye shades. <laughs> so four for face and two for eyes. Obviously the top here four are for the face and then these are all for the eyes. I haven't used it yet. Um, that contour looks very promising. So I'm looking forward to trying it out actually. I only took the photos for today, that's why I hadn't tried it yet. Again, you can see they're very minimal, very natural, very neutral, brilliant one to have. And it would be a great present to get someone if you're not sure because these are the colors that like, 80% of women very comfortably would use. I know there are some women out there who just don't like very, very natural neutral brown shades, but most women out there would. So that would be a good one to get. So again, that's the natural contour kit. And then there's also this little four pack of their endless silky eye pens. Um, these are great little pencils. They are extremely, extremely soft. They're like gel pens, but they're not. Um, like they feel like they go on like a gel, but they are pencil and um yeah they're just great great little pencils and there is like a purple one a brown one a black one and a gray one so again very neutral very pixie and another good one to have these are let's see 16.50 pounds for the pencils and the contour kit is 22 pounds which actually is quite good um so oh no they are gel eyeliners that's why I thought they were gel. Anyhow, there's also a um, four pack of lipsticks out with the holiday um, collection for Pixie. So there you go. You can see them online at pixiebeauty.co.uk. So yeah, there you go. Um, really enjoying Pixie lately, actually. Let's move on to, okay, I already showed this. Did I show it? No, I did it. Uh, yeah, I used this on Hayley anyhow in that video that I was on about. You'll see it in use there. I also did a blog post on it with swatches, so you can check that out. This is the new, um, the newest Blank Canvas Cosmetics palette. It is called the Master Series Palette 1, The Art of Perfection, which gets me excited because it makes me assume that there's going to be uh, palette 2, palette 3, and so on and so on. Um, look at the colours. I have to say, first off the bat, it looks gorgeous. I love these warm shades. I'm much more drawn to warmer shades than I am cooler shades. And yeah, I love it. And um, I was a little bit dubious, is that the right word? Um, because I didn't love the Pippa palette. And I did say that before. I wasn't blown away by the pigmentation or, you know, the colors. I was like, I thought I was the only Irish blogger who didn't feel, that, like who didn't love it. Um, so I was a bit worried that this might be the same. And I did think that the Pippa palette was a little bit overpriced for what it was. This one, however, even though it's the same price at 34 quid, which kind of seems expensive. The reason I thought it was expensive initially for the Pippa palette is because Blank Camps Cosmetics are a cheap brand. Like, there's, I'm not gonna mince words, they are a cheap brand generally, so all of a sudden for there to be a 35 euro, euro palette coming out, 
um, from a brand that's generally very inexpensive. I was like, whoa, that's expensive. Um, and again, I didn't love it, but uh, the, the reason it's called the Pippa Palette is because Pippa O'Connor, who is a blogger and very, very popular model here in Ireland, she had her name behind it, so a lot of her fans wanted it and blah, blah, blah. I can understand the price there. Um, this, on the other hand, comes with one of my favourite brushes, the blank, the, sorry, the E40 and 41 brush. And I already actually have this one open. Um, I shouldn't have taken it off, but I might as well show you. Um, oh, do I have the other one to show you, actually? No, I think it's in my kit from yesterday. Basically, it has a flat end, uh, flat side here, and then a fluffy blending side there. And this is a really, really, really decent brush. So that kind of makes the 35 euro or whatever um, much more palatable. And also the these eyeshadows, I much prefer them for some reason. I don't know if it's just in my head or not. I think the quality is better than the Pippa palette. And um, yeah. Just read my blog post if you want to see more about them. Um, they are it, it is available on the Blank Canvas Cosmetics website and on Cloud 10 Beauty. It's quite a sturdy and like weighty palette as well, considering it is the cardboard, so it feels quite good. And I'd say the pat the mirror here probably helps that, but really, really do enjoy that much more than its pre predecessor. Okay, what are we going on to next? I'll mention these quickly because I just did a blog post on them, so I won't dwell on them. These are from Eye of Horus. Horus? Oh my god, does that just sound terrible because it's in an Irish accent or what? But anyhow, Horus. Eye of Horus. These are a few items. I did a full blog post on them, so you can link to them below. On my eyes, though, is this here. It is the... <laughs> I'm going to butcher this as well. Sekhmet Smoky Palette? Or is it like Sech? Sek? Sek? I don't know. S-E-K-H-M-E-T Smoky Palette. Um, I think it's a nice little palette. Again, one thing I did note about the these is that the price is quite up there. You're, it's not an inexpensive brand. You're talking about the same price as maybe Urban Decay and Smashbox here in Ireland. So it's like 32 or 33 euros for this little palette. It is a nice palette though. So, I mean, I'll leave it up to you whether you want to spend that on it or not. It comes with a little mirror. There was a shite little brush here that I lost straight away. Um, but yeah, there you go. So that was one of the things I got. Um, there was a few bits in here I really liked. Like for instance, these pencils. These are the um, goddess pencils. Again, there's all pictures in that that I will show here. They're all on my blog with swatches. So do check that out. Really, really loved them. I'm really loving this eyebrow pencil, which is the um, Jewel Brow Perfect. And it's the Dynast Dynasty shade. Yeah, Dynasty is the shade, which is like the brown shade. And there was also a mascara and what's this? Oh yeah, a liquid eyeliner, which I don't really love, but interesting brand. I hadn't heard of them before. So do go and check out my blog post. Like I said, I'll link to that below so you can have a look at that. Um, okay, I already did a full video on Smashbox after I did my event with them and I did show all these bits bar one. So I'm just going to quickly talk about the bits that I loved. This was really interesting. It is the Gold Shimmer Brow Tech Highlight Stick and it's for your brows and not for your brow bone. And I saw in a recent video that Tati did, Tati from Glam Life Guru, she did a video on disappointing products I think and this was one of them. But she was just saying how she, you know, she tried it out. It's, it's because unless you're told how to use this, you won't know what to do. You don't put it on like a normal pencil. And again, I mentioned all this in the video. You put it on backwards so you coat the back of your hairs just watch that video and it'll explain it all there but that's really interesting loving this this is the brow tech matte pencil it's what i have in my brows today i actually don't even have any gel or anything on it it's just this comes with the spoolie in the end bish bash bosh it's just great it's the exact same as the mac brow brows brow brow pencils um loving this lipstick i used it on myself in a video recently probably like Actually, I used it on Hayley in that video I did on her last week. So you can see it on her on a blonde girl. And I also used it on myself in the previous video, or I was wearing it in the pre previous video. It is the Be Legendary Lipstick. That came out weird. The Be Legendary Lipstick in Femme Fatale. And it's a matte lipstick. Beautiful shade. It's actually, no, it's not, well, it's kind of like this one, but obviously it's much more, um, it's much more opaque. You could say it's something like Rebel from MAC, but the consistency is a little bit different. Really liking it. Then I did show this. I'm really enjoying this. It is the um, Halo Hydrating Powder, which is an interesting powder. And I did mention how you 
twist this and it shaves off some of the product. I just think that's ingenious. Again, watch the video. Now this is the only product I didn't show in the video because I wasn't sure if it was available or not. There was not a whisper about it online and I looked everywhere and then like two or three days after I did my video, um, oh, what was it? It was one of those, Temptali I think. She put up a blog post of it and I was like, well, if she talked about it, then I can talk about it. It is the new Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil, which is this. And it is exactly that. It's supposed to be an oil you can use as a primer. Obviously, it's going to be for people who are very dry skinned. I have no extra information on it yet, so I don't actually know how to use it properly. It just says use morning and night. Um, let it absorb into the skin before applying makeup. So I assume it's kind of like a normal oil but you can just use it onto your makeup if you want. I don't know, I'm gonna have to wait and see if more information comes out about that. I haven't even tried it yet, just because I don't even know what's in it. So um, now that like she's, she wrote about it, I'm sure there'll be other people writing about it, so I'll try and find out more information and see what the story is there. But yeah, it's just a oil you can use as a primer, which is interesting, because I've never come across one before. Okay, let's move on to the last few bits. First, I'll use the, leave the best thing to last. Um, okay, so we have these two Shiseido lipsticks that were sent to me after I worked with them a couple of months ago. So I have this one on today. This is um, OR313. So they like group all their lipsticks in like orange and red and pink and stuff like that. So OR is for orange. And it is just, um, yeah, it's just a like a curly peach, peach actually lipstick. Really, really pretty. Um, let's see if I can find space in my hand to show you. Yeah, really, really nice. If you're looking for a nice peachy nude, this is a good one to go for. Extremely um, moisturizing because I fell in love with this finish of lipstick. It is the Veiled Rouge. Yeah, it's a really, really hydrating lipstick. Really, really liking that. And then I also got the Rouge Perfect in PK, which is pink. Uh, three, five, four, and it is a nude. I haven't even swatched this yet, just because so many nudes, I don't know if I'll keep it or give it away, but it looks like a nice nude. Um, yeah, so those are those. Then, okay, let's see. These guys are from MAC, um, the MAC Huggable Lips. There's a big ride of a fella with lipstick on his cheek. Actually, no, I don't know if I fancy him or not. He looks a bit youthful for my liking. Anyhow, Huggable Lips. This is available from January, exclusive to Brown Thomas BT2 and Brown Thomas Online. Um, she is limited edition. There are tons of shades that are going to be out. So there are some uh, lipsticks and then lip glasses. I was sent three of the lip glasses. So let's show them to you now. There are this colour. There are. There is this colour, first of all, which is Marvel Lush which is a gorgeous pink. I mean, that is beautiful. I'm sure that would be beautiful on. Um, I'd say I'll keep some of these for my kit. Probably use, I want to do a giveaway soon, so I'm going to be getting stuff together for that. Um, oh, this is lovely. Yeah, this is a deep pink. It's an unusual color, actually. This is called Mega Hug. And then finally we have Such a Sweetheart, which is pretty. This is like a car pretty though. Um, so those are those. I'm not sure how much they're going to be. I mean, this is a small size. I'd imagine maybe 18 quid. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. Then, okay, so like I said, I'll leave the best to last. This, I have all the photos taken for already to do a blog post and my swatches and stuff like that. So there will be a blog post coming up in the next couple of days. It is the Gwen Stefani palette for Urban Decay. Look how pretty it is. And it really is actually prettier in real life than it reads on camera or like in blog posts or anything like that. So um, I was so excited to get this. Love how it swatches and how it goes on. This top shade here, um, Punk, which is like, it kind of looks burgundy, but it is more like a red brown actually when it's on. And um, it's so unbelievably pigmented. I couldn't believe how gorgeous it read on the skin. So um, I, yeah, like I said, I won't go on about it much now because I will be doing a blog post it is available now. It is gorgeous. It just speaks to me. A few people said they didn't like the um, packaging because it was too it was too industrial looking. Um, I just love it. The you know I I was quite the little punk and like I don't know 
mosher as they'd say in Ireland when I was younger and this kind of stuff just speaks to me I mean I just love that aesthetic anyhow um, I was a big Gwen Stefani fan and so unfortunately it were my eyebrows when I was a teenager but um, really really love this palette and highly recommend it if you can get your paws on it in, in, in like store to have a good kind of feel and look at it do and um, Really, really lovely. I'll show you the swatches here quickly, just so you can have a see at them, a see at them, a look at them even. Um, it's just a lovely, like it's just a lovely palette. I actually think it's my favourite of all the Urban Decay palettes. Don't want to talk about it too much because I will be doing a blog post on next week. Not a blog post. No, I'll do the blog post anyhow. But I want to do a video actually, like a, a Christmassy video with this. And then I also got some lipstick samples, so that's exciting. <laughs> So I need more lipsticks. So that's everything guys. Um, I'm sure this is a very, very, very long video, but this is going up on a Sunday. So hopefully you'll have more time. And um, yeah, that's it for now. I'll see you next Tuesday for my regularly scheduled videos, which goes up around 7 p.m. Um, my time. But yeah, that's it. Take care. Hope you're enjoying your weekend and I'll see you all later. Bye guys.